when you talk about mercury, are, are there still risks with amalgam fillings in, in people's mouths? Some, some still have them from 20, 30, 40 years ago. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a constant source of mercury if you've got them in your mouth. Uh, when all the mercury is gone from the amalgam, that's when it falls out of your mouth and then it says, oh, this is crumbling, we gotta put a new one in. That's when all the mercury's gone. Um, now, you know, the CDC's been doing ongoing studies for the level of toxicants in individuals, and mercury is one of them. And um, uh, they've recently, in their fourth report, uh, looked at, uh, you know, some some speciation of mercury in the blood. And what it turns out is that for the individuals, as they get to higher levels, you know, there's a 50 percentile, so 50 percent, if, if your level is that, 50 percent of the population has that, 50 percent is above that. You get to the 75th percentile, that means there's only 25 percent that have that or more, and 75 percent are less than that. Same 90, and then 95th percentile, you're in the top 5 percent. Well, as people go from the 50th up higher, it's, it's methylmercury. It's from fish. Mm -hmm. The amount that people get from a uh, tuna sandwich or uh, tuna sushi, um, orange roughy, Chilean sea bass, which are very high in mercury, but people typically don't know that. Um, I mean the amount they get from one serving vast is multiple times, multiple, multiple, multiple times higher than what they're going to get from a year of uh, their teeth. So uh, I, now, I had all my amalgams taken out 20, 25 years ago because I didn't want any of that in my head. And, you know, I didn't want to be breathing it every day. I didn't want to be in my saliva. Um, but for many people, the fish is a much greater source than uh, the amalgams are. Not to downplay that, but because um, it is a, a potent source, mm -hmm. but fish is far greater. You had your amalgams removed. It's not a, uh, not a simple process, the, w the way I understand it, and people should really do their research before they do that. Don't you yeah, it's not a simple process. You have to work with a dentist who understands how to do it safely, and you know, in what order to do it and all that. You have to go, they call them biological dentists. So you have to find a good biological dentist in your area that you feel comfortable with to do.